So time is running out and we're almost at the 1st of April uh, and Rolex releasing their model lineup for 2025. So they've just dropped a video, it's only 15 seconds on and they just haven't given the same level of um, information, if you like, that, that they have done in the past. I think they're only really teasing one watch. Um, now, in this video, I'm gonna go quickly through the 15 seconds and um, give my hot take, uh, because I think this is a sporting watch. Uh, they do feature Roger Federer. I'm gonna to have to apologize, there's a young lady in there who I don't know. Um, but let's, let's run through it and I'll pause it where I think uh, there's something to talk about. Now it opens with what looks like uh, a sort of date just, you've got a fluted bezel, you've got a cyclops uh, date window. This isn't a triple lock crown, it's just got the underline under the crown. I do like the fact that the crown is <laughs> off to the side because we know that they never line up. Now it's a slim case, I'm going to say it's a uh, platinum watch. Difficult to tell, but they've got that sort of bluey hue above. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's a platinum watch. And I think as we go through it, we'll see uh, that it says building tomorrow, that this is going to be something special. Now we flip to what looks like some sort of skeletonized um, movement. And they do come on to the uh, Siloxi uh, branding that is their, their sort of patented hairspring. And what you see very, very subtly is these skeletonized elements sort of meshing you can see it flick over and in the background some kind of uh, hairspring movement or, or oscillating uh, uh, mechanism whatever whatever it is um, now I do know that, that there was some talk about a patent for a similar type of escapement not the coaxial you know, the George Daniels coaxial, but something else so I wouldn't be surprised if They've created this new sporting watch, whatever it is. Look good on Roger Federer's wrist, I guess. Um, but it's, and you'll see later. There's, I think there's a there's a, uh, a clear case back that shows off what is a very highly polished, um, skeletonized internal mechanism of some description. So here and now, New York skyline. There's the young lady. Sorry, I don't know who you are. There's the Fed. First uh, of April. Now we'll stop it. So they've honed in on Siloxi, which is Rolex's uh, sort of silicon-based anti-magnetic hairspring that's sort of rigid at one end and it, it gives them all sorts of advantages. Now, who knows what they're going to do with this? Uh, the, the regular hairspring doesn't have this um, laser-etched uh, logo in it. Now, whether they do in build off, I guess normally the, the case back is closed, so why would you? But in this instance, uh, because they've gone to the trouble of branding the hairspring, you can only assume that it's visible. And it appears that you know the the movement is is gold or it's 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 got some sort of gold accents to it. And I think you'll see in a second as it goes through the X, and you've got this uh, this platinum um, crown clasp design. Again, I'm calling it platinum. The the edges of that uh, of the links of the of that five link are quite um, uh, quite sharp. There's quite a bevel on the outer link, so I think that makes it a bit more um, a bit more unisex, if you like. Now we don't know the size of this. You can see in the background not only the the fact that there's a I'm trying to catch it on my iPad. <laughs> Not only the fact that it's still got that sort of, again, we're going to call it platinum silvery colour case, but in blurred in the background, you've got that sort of goldy hue of a display case. So the mechanism is got some sort of gold um, uh, plates, you know, base plate around it, but it's also open case, but you can see that through. So I think what they've done is they've just teased one watch. Whatever this watch is, uh, we've, we've heard about land dwellers or whatever I don't know I, that sounds ridiculous to me but there's clearly going to be something whether it's based on a sky dweller or a, or a date just or something similar or slightly different maybe more you know like Amiga do with the Aqua Terra so something sporting but there's clearly something special going on inside the watch 
Now, Rolex don't tend to do massively complicated watches. There's talk of a Cellini with the moon phase or something like that. I think this is something else. Um, and I have no idea what it is, um, but I'm really, really intrigued. Anyway, that's my hot take. I'm Andy. This has been English Watch. Take care. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now.